to the Sobe Sunshine YouTube channel. This week we are talking about embroidered fabrics. So we've got some cottons, we've got some viscoses, and we've also got some different patterns. So when we think of embroidered fabrics, quite often we think of broidery on glaze. So it's something like this with little holes in it um, and a fancy scalloped edge. Um, but we've also got some, as I say, um, viscoses which are embroidered and they've got eyelets too. And then we've got some um, really beautiful um, flat, the cotton blend fabrics which have got embroidery just on them, no eyelets. So let's get started. First up we have a floral embroidered cotton, it's 100% cotton and it has these beautiful big flowers um, in a kind of solid which are outlined with stitching and then in between we've got these um, little eyelets and also the eyelets form the middle of the flower. So. Um, as I said, it's really, really beautiful. It's quite a lightweight fabric in the solid bit, so I would say it's kind of like a cotton lawn weight, but because of the embroidery, it gives it a lot of structure and body. So you could make something with big sleeves, you can make kind of a statement top, something similar to what I'm wearing today, and um, it would be fantastic. I would say that because it does have the little eyelets, you probably would want to line it if you're making a dress or something. Um, you might not want to, and that's absolutely fine as well. Um, the pattern that we have to go with this one is the Florence by Merchant and Mills. It's a really nice sort of smock dress with a gathered waist, um, but the nice thing about this pattern, and we speak about this pattern quite a lot because we love it, is that you can make a top as well. So this, this particular fabric, which I think we have in a couple of colours, we've got it in a blue as well, um, it has a, a detailed edge which the selvage is um, shaped so it's the edge of the flowers so you could use that running along the bottom of the bottom hem of your top um, and you wouldn't have to hem it which is always a winner um, but it would also be a really really nice feature and you could also use it on the sleeves. Next up we have another 100% cotton again it's um, the base fabric is quite lightweight but because of the embroidery it gives it quite a lot of body. The pattern on this one is this fantastic wiggly line so it's got these kind of like um, wiggly lines which travel all the way down kind of in stripes and the colours on this particular one are we've got a light blue, a navy, a mustard and a very pale pink which you might not be be able to see but you'll be able to see it when Lisa puts up the little card and um, it is a really fantastic fabric so it's um, it doesn't have eyelets like the previous fabric so it is a solid fabric but it, it, it is a little bit sheer so you might want to line it but I think you could probably get away with not lining it the pattern that we have gone for for this fabric is the block tee from paper theory this is a really nice um, simple t-shirt pattern and it has really fab detail of this kind of right angle sleeve um, which you could play around with the direction of this. So the pattern is lengthways, the pattern runs lengthways but if you wanted to you could cut, cut, up, cut the pattern on the cross grain and have it running horizontally or you can have it running vertically. So there's quite a lot of um, playing around you could do with this. We do have it in another colour which is lots of um, pastel shades as well. Um, so you can find that on the website. It's a really sweet um, colourway, but this one's really fab because it's the, the brighter colours stand out a bit more. The next fabric I'm going to show you today is a viscose embroidered fabric. Um, so this is 100% viscose and it is a really drapey um, fabric and it's in this kind of navy blue, although it's almost like a French navy, it's a bit paler than, a, than your standard navy blue. And it has this very, very sweet floral design with the little eyelets cut out so you can see that there's little holes in it um, like your traditional broidery on glaze fabrics um, and it's very very sweet and now the pattern does run I would say cross grain but you could use it either way um, it just depends on personal preference really um, but as I said it is quite lightweight and it is quite sheer as well so we thought that it would lend itself really well to um, a dress or a blouse and the pattern that we've chosen is the Romy Gather Dress and Top from Sew House 7. Um, it's a really beautiful um, simple dress with kind of big sleeves and um, a gathered skirt and you could make it a short or a long version. Um, so and this, this fabric also comes, we've got it in black and also in cream so it's really nice, really versatile. You could wear it for work or you could just wear it with jeans at the weekend um, and as I said really lightweight, drapey, just a lovely fabric. 
The next fabric I'm going to show you is a cotton blend and it is this beautiful washed denim blue colour and it has this very sweet floral design on it um, in the embroidery. Sort of like if someone had thrown a bunch of tiny flowers into the air and they had landed, kind of scattered onto the fabric. And that um, the colour of the thread in this one is white. We also have this fabric in a purpley colour which is also really lovely. Um, they're kind of quite muted shades. As um, I said, it is quite lightweight and it is quite sheer as well. So we thought that this would um, lend itself really well to a blouse, especially for sort of summer, and you could also wear it with a cardigan um, as per usual. But um, for summer, this would make a really nice blouse with big sleeves, something like the Anthea blouse from Anna Allen, um, which, and we love that pattern in this studio. I've made a couple and so is Lisa. Um, and they're just, it's a really nice pattern because it has kind of three quarter length sleeves and they're really big sleeves and then the bodice has a really nice shape to it as well. Um, but you can make lots of things out of this but as it is so sheer we would probably recommend lining it if you're going to make a dress. Um, um, you could line it with something like white cotton lawn or something like that um, and it would make a really fab outfit. Next up we have this fab cotton, it's 100% cotton and it has this really great embroidery all over it. So it doesn't have the little eyelets in it, it is a solid fabric and then, but it does have this beautiful floral design. Um, it's quite similar to something you might see in like folk art embroidery um, and it's got these beautiful cross stitch flowers and um, it's just really lovely. And you, it is, I, um, we had a bit of a debate about which direction you use it in, but we think actually you could use it in any direction. Um, so the pattern that we have chosen to go with this um, is a shift dress with strappy um, straps, strappy straps. And um, it is a little bit see-through, but it's, Really, I think you could probably get away without lining it, but maybe you might want to line it because it is quite thin. I mean, it is probably like in between a cotton lawn and a poplin, weight-wise, but um, it does have... It's got quite a lot of body, again, because of the stitching, um, but the pattern that we've chosen to go with it is the Claudia dress from Tessuti Fabrics. Um, it's just a really nice, straight, simple dress with, stra with little straps. Um, and we thought it'd be really fab for the summer. So the final fabric today is a 100% um, cotton um, embroidered fabric once again with the little eyelets. It's got this really lovely scalloped edge running down the um, side of it, running down the selvage. So you could use that edge as before, either on like the um, button stand or you could use it on a sleeve edge, something like that. So if you wanted to make a little decorative sleeve edge, if you're making a short sleeve top or dress, um, and then the pattern is a really lovely um, diagonal um, floral print and it's got these little diamonds um, and in, in the middle of each of the diamonds is a little flower so we've got a kind of one flower with a bigger eyelet and then a bigger flower with a smaller eyelet and they alternate in this kind of checkerboard pattern and it is very very sweet and very pretty. Um, so as it is as it has eyelets and it's also very lightweight fabric, it is quite sheer, so you might want to take that into account when you're thinking about what you're going to make with this fabric. Um, and as I said, it has this lovely scalloped edge as well. The pattern that we have chosen to go with it is the Vernon shirt from Cashmerette. So you can either make a classic shirt pattern or you can make the one with the slightly bigger sleeves. It's got quite a clever sleeve detail to give the sleeve a bit more volume. Um, so that was the pattern that we chose. We thought that would just make a really nice kind of summery top and then you could wear like a cami underneath or you could line it um, as before with something like a white cotton lawn. Um, but yeah, this fabric is really beautiful and we love um, a scalloped selvage. So you can either make a feature or you can just ignore it, use it like a, use this fabric like a normal piece of fabric and just cut your pattern pieces out as normal. Thanks so much for joining us this week as we look at some, just some, because we've got a lot of um, embroidered cottons and embroidered viscoses going online this week, um, just some of them. Uh, this top that I'm wearing, I actually made, you might have seen it before in another video, um, it's made out of a couple of different bits of um, embroidery on glaze and embroidered cotton that I found and you can just make, that's the joy of these fabrics is because um, especially with the white ones it's a bit like pattern blocking so you can just mix and match with the different fabrics and you can make really fun outfits out of it. 
as always thank you so much for all of your orders we really really appreciate it we make content every week on youtube so don't forget to like and subscribe and comment below on what you would make with the fabrics and we will see you again next week bye <laughs>